welcome back everybody it's uncle destiny sorry we're a little late with this video this week uh just had a bunch of other matters going on but let's go ahead and get the ancestors in and see what they have to say for the month of june which also includes the summer solstice and winter solstice depending on where you are in the world and see what they have to say for this coming month All right, so we've thrown the bones, and as usual, anything that has, is not on the reading surface is not part of the reading. So let's see what we have here. And we've got definitely a clustering of things. And we still have our three main bones. This one is work. This one is family. This one is home. Now, as you can see, we've got those crossed. And work is just going to keep it's just going to keep doing what it normally does. It's not having a lot of things influencing it this month, so it's not going to be where your a lot of your energy is going to be going. Most of your energy is going to be over here at the work and family intersection. <clears throat> and if we notice, most of the collection of the of our other bones are down here at the intersection, as opposed to near the uh, other terminal points of the bones. So there's a lot about where these two are intersecting with home and work and family. So that uh, mean, means to me that pretty much there's going to be a lot more issues about where these two inter uh, encounter. So that with this being June, you've got the issues of graduations. You've got the issues with beating the prep for people who are going off to school. Uh, or those who are, have just graduated and coming home and moving on with their lives. There's going to be that issue of fa there's going to be more family togetherness, but also it's going to come with a lot of understandings of who these who you are in these new in this new path that you're on, and because things have changed uh, with both the new moon that's coming in for this month as well as the solstice energy, it is about shifting and that sort of pulse of life that goes into so many things. <coughs> we kind of see that <coughs> with all the collection of the other support bones including the shell the copper and the quartz all being this sort of cluster that sits under nips so there's going to be a lot of issues coming up around what are new roles who and what is responsible for what and as a result it's going to be also dealing with a lot of things to deal with what we do internally. So also internally in the house, but also internally for ourselves and mentally. What are we birthing into new order? What are we, how are we birthing into these new roles that are coming up for us? Be it the aspect of uh, a college freshman or someone who's just graduated with their degree, uh, parents who are now finding themselves empty nested or parents who are seeing their college graduate come back home to try to use their home the home again as a bit launching base that's all gonna be coming in and that's gonna require some changes in understanding what the roles are if you're seeing kids go off yeah you are now the parent and you have to trust that they have made decisions but you're not always going to be there to talk them out of it or support them if you're kind of if they're coming back yeah you want to support them but you also have to recognize they are now fully adults with their own decisions and their own things to do you don't get to lord over them like you might have done when they were younger so it's understanding what is your new role and how do you also have your new role with them as adults who are your equals not your subordinates so that comes up there with a lot of what you have to do with the internal changes and dealing with that greater <clears throat> uh, amount of support issues we move into the copper piece now again the copper piece is the conduction of the spirit and the energy and the higher order forces and they're showing that this is part of the greater co uh, purpose the universe has but it's also about trusting in that trusting that what this process is doing is what is supposed to happen but it also means recognizing that when are you taking your actions with the blessing of spirit versus against it and that's also in that aspect of changing up the relationships as you the relationships change 
so does the access and the needs with spirit. So make sure you're working with that. And this also then feeds into what we did with the crystal, with the quartz crystal, which is about memory, which is about the information of the past. How much are you still living in the past and staying there as opposed to using what you know about the past to support you in the future? That means help. how do you help encourage growth? How do you help encourage letting go of fear? How do you help encourage letting go of anger? based off of what you know about the person or in the past and what they might have what they've been through. And that comes in here where we get a lot of the tailbones we're about, which is, brings us to endings. We also get a lot about the inspiration as well as that one. Uh, then we've got all these rib bones here that are crossed and so forth. So this is about inspiration. This is about the breath. This is about the support. And being very conscious of your words that you use in this time, because the words that you're using in this time are a reflection of how you are either supporting or changing the uh, situation and the roles that you're in. Now we have this one here. We've got the broken one over here. Now the broken one <clears throat> is off here. There's going to be a there's a sense that there's a one-off scuffle, but it's also pointed towards the work bone. So there is something, someone who's going to be upset, there's going to be a uh, dispute that is coming towards work. It's going, it's got, it's traveling from a great distance, so by, you'll see it coming. And by the time it finally gets to the bone, it'll have law, it will have gotten a lot of speed, but because you know it's coming, you can deflect it. So just keep an eye on the horizon. There is something, there's a dispute, there's someone who's going to be upset off in the distance, and you're going to be able to see them coming so you can diffuse the situation. And the goal is to diffuse and deflect, not to confront, not to meet them with the same energy, but you want to, to, to deflect and diffuse and use the skills that you have with your work. So that might be with a coworker, a project, a uh, customer, you'll see it there. Now, I've spoken briefly about this one here, and this is another support phone. This one is about clarity. There is some clarity that's going to come through the support issues. And in supporting a situation, uh, uh, work, uh, some sort of uh, engagement, might be that you help set up centerpieces, might be that you help uh, send out invitations, it might be you help set up chairs, but you're going to discover a clarity there that's going to come with it. Now we move to these other outer bones, and as we can see, we've got a, this other one. Both of these are supports. Now this one is definitely spinal. That one is the upper spinal. Now what's interesting about the these is, again, these are things that are coming in. They're going to start showing up more in, you'll see them clearly in July. These things are also about what you're building, not just for the summer, but for the fall and winter. So these are aspects of what you're building there. And again, they have their, their arc is going to bring them in such a way that they're coming into the whole home bone. So it's going to be something about setting up and changes to the home. Not negative ones, but maybe even how do you expand your sense of home? What else do you feel like home is? All right. And last but not least, we're going to deal with these two here. This one is also, again, is much like the uh, this pair, pair over here. There's a support aspect coming in. There's a structure. But it's, and this one's going to be much more about idea, ideas. And again, it brings us into the home bone. So it's about the ideas of home and expanding the idea of what is home. And over here we have one more of the rib bones. So again, we're going to get in dealing with air, aspiration, the support to be able to breathe. So there's going to be some issues, some things, some things that are coming in that are going to help you to breathe. So there's more information, there's more materials, there's more facts that are coming. Overall, I'm not seeing a, a more distinct shape in this one as I, as I have in others because there's just so much going on and so much of this is really about the deep relationships we have with each other and understanding that those relationships can't be based off of parent versus child or boss versus worker I, that the that the power dynamics that go in there they have to shift 
they have to grow. They can't stay the same. And they don't always provide the materials that are needed for the growth that has to happen, for the learning. So, this is Uncle Destiny, wishing you a happy summer solstice and new moon for this month. And may the ancestors, may the spirits and the Rishas be with you, guiding you in these times of great change. Remember, be human. Don't be monsters. <laughs>